we're making really good progress with understanding the biomechanics of movement. We've covered about half of the book. In part one, we talked about locomotion with very simple biomechanical models. In part two, we talked about the production of motion. That is, what's happening under the hood when we produce muscle forces, those muscles act on the skeleton, and that enables us to move forward. I'm gonna pass the baton now to Professor Tom Yoshida at the University of Ottawa. Tom is a good friend, very funny person, incredible biomechanical analyst, and he's going to cover chapters seven, eight, and nine, which is the core of analysis of movement. So passing to you, Tom.